your testimony in the January 6th committee, the, the difficulty you're having of trying just to compl explain to people who had been so misled and so turned around the basic fact that you, Rusty Bowers, or in this case, Mike Pence, can't unilaterally decide to just reject the will of the voters and how difficult it was for you to make that argument. I wonder what you thought watching Mike Pence try to do a version of what you have had to do. It felt like I had been there before. And uh, I, the vice president has been very kind to, uh, we've, It's always amazing to me that conservatives will talk about how the feds exceed their authority. They are not authorized by the Constitution. They only should do what they are allowed to do until your side is perhaps not the beneficiary. And then you want to change the Constitution to fit your argument. And uh, that doesn't work. You know, you... You take them both sides, but he's in 1960 was faced with the same challenge. And Mr. Nixon counted for John F. Kennedy and knew that that would cost him the election. Do you think uh, one thing that one theme we keep returning to in our coverage of this very strange era is just the, the bedrock importance in a democratic society of persuasion, of being able to say to people, look, uh, th these are the facts, and this is why we're right on the law, and this is why this is important. And I wonder how live that possibility feels to you as someone who had people saying the most awful things about you outside your house and, and was, was, was sort of subject of so much calumny and, and, and you know, insult how possible that is amongst Republican base voters on, on these matters? Well, I think people do it because they think there is something things back to hope and faith, just the hope of a, a sun coming up tomorrow, you know. But right. there is a definite paucity in our society of civility and just the opportunity to think, to think, can I think this through without accelerating it into rhetoric and attacks and incivility? Because if you, like, what's that old lawyer thing? You know, if you got the law, you pound the law. If you've got neither one, you pound the table. And, and uh, we see a lot of table pounding. And I, I got to admire Pence. Uh, he, it may be a, a challenging air, uh, time for him, but to go out there and say it over and over, maybe somebody will, maybe their brain will click, you know? I really should love the Constitution rather than what it gets for me. Let me ask you this. Um... You uh, disclosed that you had talked to the FBI. Uh, uh, they had interviewed you about the matters that you have given public testimony about. And you said it largely tracked what's, what's in, the, in, in the public record. Um, but I, I'm curious where you, as someone who was so central to this, and there's other evidence of other subpoenas being issued in Arizona and the fake electors plot, what, what you think should happen? I mean, d is it important to you, and I'll disclose my own bias here, I think it is actually important that there's a legal proceeding about January 6th, but what what you think? Well, I think that a legal proceeding is not unfair in and of itself. There was a lot of people at January 6th who had no intention, nor did they participate in any of the violent things. There were some who did, and there were some who egged them on, and some who should have stopped it and and didn't. Doesn't that tell us something about leadership? And if every American would just tonight when you're brushing your teeth, look in the mirror and say, if there were 340 million other people just like me, would it be a peaceful country? Would it be a better country or a worse country? When the critical mass wants 
anger and malice and revenge and that let they let them rule their thinking it's a difficult time to consider i think that's a great thought experiment i think a, a 340 million of me would be like a lot of people talking a lot which may maybe make the country better. <laughs> but, but I don't know that. Means. Rusty Bowers, thank you so much for your time tonight. I appreciate it. You bet. Thank you.